Good morning. It's, uh, it's Friday morning. It's about 7.15. I'm actually starting with some, uh, some light for a change. It is, uh, what is today? The 22nd of, uh, where am I? It's May. 22nd of, 22nd of May. And I'm heading into an aspect of the lower Buffalo Wilderness. Plans to spend the night. We shall see how that works out. I like it. It is about 50 degrees at the moment. It's a gorgeous day. There are a couple of old roads going into this area with uh, some trails that are, you know, more than likely sustained by horse people. <coughs> but this time of year, I'm happy to, happy to have some trails. Pretty much straddling a ridge right now, and I can look down. I can't really look, but I can see in both directions, kind of looking off into the valleys, appear to be just full of fog. All I can see is white down there. And I will be doing a little bit of trail maintenance today, which involves removal. I mean, if you can't see that this is a trail, then, uh, gee. Today I will be using my homemade stick. My homemade stick, man. It's multi-purpose. Use it for spider webs. A little flattened rubber thing there for putting my camera on the end of. And it's also a weapon to fend off bears. Believe it or not, that's looking down into the valley of the buffalo. Nothing but fog. Can you see Jack? If only I had some ski poles, I could walk with my arms like this the whole time. That looks really comfortable. This is the natural way to hike. La la la, la la la, la la. Please, somebody tell me why. I remember reading something on the Forest Service website about a fire in this area. It was maybe in January, February this year. I can't remember. I'm seeing evidence of it here. It doesn't look bad. It's mostly low stuff. Oh, the sound of the early morning birds. I'm kind of a kind of worried that it could be lost because uh, I have not seen an orange ribbon on a tree for a while and uh, without those to navigate I don't know I could who knows where I am now man I could be I could be clear in the other other county for all I know you know I depend on those things and people come along and take them down and and then you're lost what do you do Okay, I found a perfect example of how easy it is to get lost out here without ribbons. Here we've got uh, a bunch of trees that have fallen over into the roadbed, thus forcing the trail to go around and skirt that area, which is common, especially for horses, because horses, they don't like to crawl under stuff, as far as I know. Got your ribbon over here. 
that tells you, hey, the trail back over here, man. Look, you can't find it without this, so uh, come over here. That's where the trail is, right here. Still hadn't gotten out of that burn area, but uh, we have a few pine trees. Going out into the valley of the buffalo down there. Found a little bit of exposure here, but uh, really no view, too many trees in the way. Not much of a trail here anymore. Doublets. It's quite moist out here. There's uh, a lot of water seeping everywhere. A couple of cardinals. Some prickly ass pears. Can't see nothing. Bit of a uh, tight area at the moment. Fair amount of ticks off of my shelf. Crawling ones. Little bastards. Did manage to relocate the, the Jeep trail that head down towards the buffalo. A little creek down there. Be pretty close. It's flattening out, and I see lots of cane. Curious. It appears I found the remnants of an old mine or something here. A pile of rocks. I know that ain't natural. It's an ancient pyramid. Yeah, I bet that's what that is. Yeah. Looks like a trail here. And yeah, this is up at the top of that big pile of crap. And there's no road bed. Yeah. Yeah, the deer is snorting at me. And as I suspected, I'm a surprised, but this appears to be an old mine that's uh, fenced off. Yep, sweet. Go right up in there. This is, uh, I guess it's a mine. Looks like a natural cave, but I don't know. Hmm. 
know. Sweet. A deep pit right there. And as you know, I always obey all rules. Rule number one. Obey all rules. Danger, keep out, unsafe mine. Oh, it is a mine, see? Unstable rock. Hey! Hey! Not much of an echo, but uh, looks like it goes back in there pretty nicely. Hey, it looks pretty scary to you. I don't know that I'd want to go up in there. There's a buffalo. I knew it was up pretty good. Not flooding or anything, according to the gauges I saw. It was at the upper end of floatable, so it should be good, but this is a big, wide, slow area. <laughs> tell you with great authority that uh, no horses walking through here. Oh hell no. Well, this here, uh, this here spot is a uh, big bottom, named after this big old fat woman. I used to live over here in this area. Like in the 1800s, I mean, she had a big one. Had a big ass bottom. So, I noticed, uh, this area looked kind of like that, so they named it after her. Yes, sir. Oh, crap. <laughs> Sorry, dude. It's slippery. Come on out. Hey. Come on out. You. Come on. Like about your business. Yeah, this is uh, this is some crap right here. This is a prickly pear meadow. I must tread with caution. What the hell is this? Very curious. Is that lamb's ear? Got me a game trail. That's what I like. I like them game trails, man. You know, follow me some game, hunt them up, kill them, eat them. Living off the land. Oh, that's what I do. All these game trails. Hunt the game, kill them, eat them, continue living. You don't do that, you know what happens? Well, I tell you, you die. You no longer continue to live. Therefore, whoa, good ass little ways down there. If you can't get on this gravel bar over here. Try to look at sand. Yeah, 
Yeah, boy. There it is. Uh-huh. That's some good action right there. I see lots of canoes getting swamped in that. There's an eagle right there. See that eagle? Yes, sir. That's an eagle. Oh. He flew up under the shrubbery. Oh, there he goes. Coming back. Whee! Who'd have thought there'd be such a sweet surfing wave on the lower buffalo? Two of them. Big bottom right there on the duck's head. Over here, looks like uh, maybe an otter. Bars along here. Right up there. That bluff is where I was planning on going. I don't know though. We'll, we'll see. Could be difficult. Could be dangerous. Could be both. I believe. 
you can see there's where Silver Hollow comes in. This here is Silver Hollow. This old place of coral. It's weird this thing is dry. Yeah, a deep chasm with no fence around it. Twelve thirty and it's lunchtime. This isn't the greatest place to eat lunch, but I had to <clears throat> replenish my water. The creek was dry. Little side creek had just enough. So, just taking time out to eat. Still heading for that one over there. Very close. That's where I'm going. Hopefully. Hey buzzards, eat rock. I believe it will. Hey buzzard lips.
I'll set up the camp here. It's about five o'clock. I couldn't, couldn't find a good place to hang my hammock. I mean, there were some places up there, but it wouldn't. They weren't great. <clears throat> so that place was pretty comfortable. But I laid there. Just kept finding little ticks crawling on me. No matter how many. I would kill, they just kept crawling up onto my crawling up onto my uh, ground sheet there. So I don't know if this top of this bluff is infested with them or what. So I'm kind of having second thoughts about staying. It's a great spot. I've just seen a, earlier a couple of huge groups of canoes go by. <clears throat> they all went through that big rapid up there and one of them turned over and floated from the rapid way up there all the way down to here. No life jacket on. But, I don't know. It's clouded up. So it's not terribly beautiful out right now. So I'm considering heading back while I got time. We think. All of this over here is the lower buffalo, lower, lower buffalo, <laughs> lower buffalo wilderness. That's uh, Cabin Creek coming in right there. Pretty decent bluff over there. And there's a little, little bit that continues on over on this side of the river. And that's where I am now. I think I'm still within it. Gotta check out the drop. Ooh. Uh -huh. Ooh. Oh. We're still going. Well now, I'm glad I left anyway because it's starting to rain. Uh, not hard, but who knows where it'll go. It's 5.40. A little vantage point. Just looking east. Then the Buffalo River Valley. This is looking west. There's a big bend right there, big horseshoe bend. I don't say anything on here about ticks. Nothing. No ticks, no ticks. No ticks, no ticks, no ticks. Yep, that's where we are right here. The duck's head. And yes, there we are. 625. Started out around 50 degrees at 65 now.
I'll do it for 40. <laughs> 